How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a good day. Today I have for you Tom Clancy's The Division. I've actually never played this game before, but since it was an opportunity on Steam for a two-day trial, I was like, sure, why not? Let, let's let's give it a try. And it's actually not too bad so far, but that's I'm just going to let it be some background noise while I give you guys a little snippet into my life. I've actually tried doing the recording on this video at least six times so far, and it just gets <laughs> more and more frustrating as the... The audio portion of it seems to be my Achilles heel. You know, I, I, I try to keep it a more natural tone, just talking into the mic, letting you guys know what's going on. But, you know, sometimes there's little here, things here or there, or ums, that I don't like hearing. And I'll just restart the video and think, oh my goodness, I can't do this. <laughs> but let me jump into my story. So, yesterday afternoon, I spent most of the day with my family. Long day outside, sweating. I'm just tired and exhausted. I, I finished getting undressed, showered, everything like that. Got my cocoa butter on, feeling good. Next thing you know, I hear a knock on my door. I'm, I'm sitting here laying on my couch, getting ready to watch some King of the Hill. You know, <laughs> enjoy some steak. And I'm thinking to myself, who the hell is knocking my door 1030 at night? I'm sitting here starving. I just got out the shower. What do you guys want? It turns out it's my downstairs neighbor who was actually uh, is an elderly woman. So I'm thinking, hmm, what could be the cause for concern? You know, opening my door at 1030 at night. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get jumped anytime soon. It turns out someone left something by her door and she needed assistance with it. I'm a little bit confused by what's going on, you know, I'm thinking maybe it's some trash, a box, whatever it may be. So I say, you know what, okay, I'll be downstairs in a few seconds. I throw on my sandals, I grab a little Gerber knife just in case, trying to find out what it is, and I head outside and lock on my door. Get downstairs, we see a black bag sitting right by her door. It's a little misshapen, looking like some type of liquid is sitting in there. So we obviously can't tell what's inside. And she's a little bit alarmed. She's never had a bag outside of her door. We're not supposed to leave trash outside any of our areas in our apartments. So this was a little cause for concern. I'm thinking to myself, someone was just being lazy and decided, hey, I'm going to dump some trash outside their door because either one or two things are going to happen. One, they're going to have to go take the trash themselves, or two, they're going to have to investigate who left that trash there, which would cause so much more time into their life to be spent, and I highly doubt they're going to be doing that one. They're going to go the easiest option to just take that trash out. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking someone left the trash there, and it could possibly have been a previous neighbor who lived across from her, as they weren't the kindest people in the world and fortunately they have now moved out due to the cops being called on them at least twice now <laughs> but we we looked at the bag and thought it best not to open it you can never know what's inside something when when you see a package or anything like that just so you guys know don't be the one to open it don't go looking through things you might assume something's inside but you never know Someone might be crazy enough to leave a bomb or, you know, God forbid, even, you know, murder a cat. Things like that happen. And it's unfortunate, but you always want to be careful. And in that situation, I thought the best thing to be to do would call the courtesy officer for the apartment complex. So, get up on the phone. I give them a call. The person on the line tells me, the correct thing to do was not open the bag, don't move it, let everything be, wait for the courtesy officer to get there. I'm thinking, okay, that's exactly what I was thinking. We'll be waiting, waiting right here for you. I'd say maybe about five to ten minutes pass. Two officers finally show up, one male, one female. Female officer, she was kind and friendly, having an open dialogue, trying to figure out you know, what happened, and trying to find a resolution to the situation. The male officer, 
seemed like he did not want to be there at all. Like someone just took a big old dump in his grits. <laughs> and each every little thing seemed to set him off. As the uh, the elderly woman and the female officer were having conversation, I just made a few remarks here and there, saying what happened, where it happened, you know, when we called the instructions instructions that we received over the phone of not to move it or open it. But this guy was, you know, seems like he, he was just an unhappy person. So I was just like, you know what? Do you guys mind just opening up the bag? And finding out what's going on so we can finally find an end to this situation. The hot-headed officer pulls out a knife, cuts open the bag, sees some type of sewage inside, some type of trash, and that was it. Shook hands, officers walked off to file off their reports, I ended up taking the trash and uh, putting it in the back of my car so that way the old woman, I, the, the trash compactor was some distance off, and I'm not going to have an older woman, you know, take the trash out in the middle of the night walking that distance. So I had my keys on me, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to drive it over there. Drove the trash back, had all gunk on my hands <laughs> due to it, some, in, some of it coming out, and uh, managed to finally, finally have that resolution ended, and then now... I actually had to email the housing department or the main people who own the apartment complex. They have their own little management group. So I just, you know, emailed and informed them, CCing the uh, the elderly woman to make sure she was in, you know, in the loop, making sure everybody had their contact information, what happened, you know, relaying that officer showed up. I get back in my house. I got to rewash after touching nasty garbage. I'm not even in the mood to play a video game. I'm I'm so tired. Freaking, I don't even think Call of Duty was downloaded by then because I was having issues with the Steam store, and I actually had to physically go through the uh, the main internet web page in order to get the game downloaded. I, for some reason, I couldn't uh, you know get it through the Steam application. If someone knows the reason why. Uh, let me know, please, because I need to troubleshoot that, like, ASAP. I managed to get the games, but, you know, that was a bit of a pain. And, you know, I get back inside my house. I have King of the Hill paused, which is not too bad. It's one of my favorite shows. You know, it's not for everybody, but I enjoy it. My food's cold, obviously, now, so I'm, I'm a little bit upset, but I'm thinking I did my good deed for the day. There's nothing else to it. You know, I feel good about myself. I, the woman downstairs, she feels a little safer. Everybody, you know, everybody went home <laughs> in one piece, and I felt better. You know, it's it's not much. <laughs> it's not much that happens in, you know, in my daily life. But there are interesting things that happen. It's what you make of a situation. It can always. You know, affect not only your day, but someone else's. You know, I certainly wasn't thinking any of that was going to happen, but because I was able to, you know, you know, be there for someone else, they were able to sleep more soundly. And th those are just little things here and there, but I'm not going to drag on all day with this. You know, I, I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you know what's going on. So I'm going to let you guys finish watching the rest of this video. Hopefully. I can get some Battlefield, Call of Duty, or whatever other games you guys want to see. Let me know. Um, I've been thinking about Divinity 2 Original Sin. Uh, it looks very interesting. I'm definitely an RPG guy. And, you know, I'm not that big of a gamer like I used to be. But I will definitely, you know, look into making certain purchases depending on what you guys like. And put them up on the channel or even possibly stream them. Just let me guys know. So, enjoy the rest of the video and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Otter out. Agent, we've gotten word of a hostage situation at a bank. Looks like you'll have to go through the subway tunnel to access the building. We need you to move in and minimize the damage.
No need to get tough with me. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Presence detected. Guess somebody got here first. Gotta be something better than this. Thank you so much. That was terrifying. Now I need to get the hell out of here. Agent, those rioters have stolen a crate of morphine. Probably gonna try and sell it or use it. We've got people in real pain who need those drugs. See if you can recover that crate. position now.
is on site and ready to engage. something for you. See this. Fantastic work, Agent. I think you put the lid back on this place just when it was about to boil over. We all thank you. And I wanted to say personally that I've lived in Brooklyn my whole life. What you've done means a lot to me. Agent, we just got a distress call from one of the local police precincts we set up as a distribution hub. They're being attacked by rioters. Getting word they're planning on trading hostages for drugs. You need to get in there, eliminate the threat to the precinct, and free any hostages. Hey, check these babies out. Been snuck. I got nothing left. Agent, get that precinct back under control. If that precinct goes, we lose Brooklyn. Morning. Incoming hostiles. Fucking shoot them! 
Dispatch, this is Division Command. We've got an agent incoming to assist at the 84th, but all entrances are blockaded. Division, that's the best news I've had all month. Try the parking garage in the back. Got that agent? That's your lead. Go get him. Incoming. They're just gonna keep charging. Nobody escape! Warning. Hostiles detected. This is bullshit. They could have ideas. I say, take them out. Keep them alive to negotiate. Trade. They're no good to us dead. Not yet, anyway.
Get me out of here! Keep it down. Don't get them riled up. Play nice and give me time to get us out of here. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. Warning. Hostiles detected. You're an inspiration to us all. Bliss is trying to set up some kind of advance in the station. I don't apologize to no one. Alert. Additional hostiles inbound. Additional hostiles incoming. They've got no strategy. We can beat them. They're letting them Warning. Hostiles detected. Incoming.
hadn't showed up, and things might have gone very different. Excellent work, Agent. Brooklyn is stable again. Manhattan? Manhattan is another story. Let's get over there and see for ourselves. I've got more agents with me now. We'll rendezvous with Agent Lau and fly over together. 